Well, I found one of these list articles that I thought was a little interesting. Uh, five things that exploded for bizarre reasons. Hmm. Uh, number one, the bowl semen explosion. In 2019, a huge fire broke out in an Australian agricultural facility. No one got hurt, luckily, but the facility was completely destroyed. A good deal of damage came from an unexpected source. The facility was a cattle breeding complex, and as the fire went on, dozens of pressurized bowl semen containers started exploding. According to local emergency services, the fire heated up the liquid inside the tanks, causing it to rapidly expand. The end result was a bunch of exploding semen tanks. Some of the tanks were propelled through the walls as missiles with a sperm Jesus. payload. The ones that flew the farthest were eventually found in the yards of neighboring properties. <laughs> well, I just found my new fetish. <laughs> Although, you know, like like certain like breeding animals, like that can be like expensive. Yeah, that was, that was probably a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> There's jizz flying everywhere. <laughs> no, my life savings. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you got insurance. <laughs> How do you think you buy that policy? I'd like to insure three hundred and fifty million dollars worth of bull season. <laughs> the guy's out there like scooping it back up and getting it back in the freezer as soon as he can. <laughs> He's putting it in like a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> putting it in his pockets. <laughs> Uh, next, exploding chewing gum kills a student. A 25-year-old Ukrainian chemistry student called Vladimir met a tragic end in 2009. His jaw and most of his face blew clean off when a piece of bubble gum exploded in his mouth. Apparently, the student was a fan of chewing and used... Uh, used to dip it in citric acid to get more flavor out of it. Oh, yeah. He was also into practicing chemistry by making homemade firecrackers. According to local police, one Saturday night, the young man most likely dipped his chewing gum in the wrong container. When he bit down on it, the explosive chemicals ignited with gruesome results. By the time emergency responders arrived, there was nothing they could do. Now that's like... A series of bizarre coincidences. Yeah, that, One, uh, this guy's a weirdo that like dips his chewing gum in acid to give it more flavor. And number two, that he's like making firecrackers and like has a similar like container right. or whatever yeah. that he can confuse it with. I mean, I don't know. That seems crazy. Uh, next, Germany's exploding toads. This case was more of a series of explosions in a single large bang. In 2005, people found more than 1,000 toads in the 100 miles between the city of Hamburg and the Danish border that had mysteriously exploded. No one could make heads or tails of the blown apart amphibians. Experts tested pond water and checked the splattered remains for viruses or bacteria, but found nothing out of the ordinary. Then, one scientist figured out the most likely cause— Local crows had developed a taste for toad livers and learned to peck the organs out without immediately killing the toad. Uh. Toads have a natural defensive reaction when they um, puff themselves up when threatened. But with gaping holes in their chest and their livers missing, the sudden increase in blood pressure only blew the rest of the toad's organs out of their bodies. Oh. I mean, it's pretty insane that like the ravens were able to just like... Peck like they like we know where the, what we want is and they just like get that and leave. Well, this is like a different thing, but like uh, apparently orcas will just eat like great white livers or shark livers, and they were finding all these sharks. They they just had like a neat cut and their livers were missing, and they were like, "What the fuck's going on?" And those orcas were just eating their livers. <laughs> How they make a neat cut? I don't know. I guess you just bite a little incision, and I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, their mouths are so big that you would think that they would just, like, fuck up a large area. Yeah. I don't know. Crazy. Huh? Uh, this next one is the Brooklyn Toilet Explosion. Oh, this is the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> a freak incident in 2013 left a Brooklyn man and three others in his co-op injured and scared to flush their toilets. And for a good reason. Uh, Michael Pierre, 58 at the time of the accident, was in his bathroom when <clears throat> his Flushmate brand toilet suddenly exploded. The force of the blast showered Pierre in porcelain shrapnel. He needed 30 stitches in his head, arms, and legs to close his profusely bleeding wounds. Jeez. He can only count his lucky stars he wasn't sitting on the can when it blew up. The reason behind the explosion was plumbing work uh, to install backflow prevention valve. The contractor had turned off the water, which resulted in air building up inside the pipes until the pressure was too much for the toilets to handle. 
Part of the blame also lies in the Flushmaster toilets. In 2012, the brand's toilets were recalled in the U.S. and Canada due, due to faulty <laughs> weld seams that allowed pressure to travel back up into the toilet tank. <laughs> You get a recall on your toilet. <laughs> How would you even know? You wouldn't know. I mean, I'm guessing they put out news stories when recalls like that happen, but I mean, how many people actually check? And then finally, the Tunguska event. Uh, it was a quiet morning in 1908 on the Tunguska Plateau in the eastern Siberian taiga. And then there was uh, no eastern Siberian taiga. Out of the blue, an enormous explosion with an estimated force of 12 megatons flattened 830 square miles of forest. To put that in perspective, that's about 10 times the destructive force of your average modern nuke. The shockwave of the explosion threw people off their feet and shattered windows hundreds of miles away from the explosion. The most bizarre thing about the event is that no one's ever found an explosion crater. The most likely explanation, at least according to current research, is that a stony uh, meteoroid <clears throat> roughly the size of a Boeing 747 detonated roughly five miles above the Earth's surface in an incredible stroke of luck that the thing landed in the barely populated Russian wilderness instead of, say, Central Europe. I mean, that one I've, I've heard of. Yeah, I've heard of that one. But... Um, it just shows, like, even a meteoroid, you know, that explodes above the surface can could really fuck up a lot of people. I think I'm a little more scared of ex- my, my toilet exploding. Yeah, I'm still. <laughs> or the snake toilets. <laughs> mm. Toilet snake. That's true. Toilet snakes are. <laughs> Exploding toilet snakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting tired of all these motherfucking snakes. <laughs> Wasn't there a toilet. weird thing where, like, <clears throat> or some weird myth where some people thought the Tunguska event was caused uh, by Nikola Tesla. I don't know. They, they, I, I think they were trying to because they didn't know what had caused it, and uh, finally they modeled like a, a comet breaking in half in the in the atmosphere, which could cause it because there's like a bunch of trees knocked down in a weird pattern. I know there's a comic I read once where like. They tried to make some sort of science fiction connection to it, and I don't remember what it was. It was it was interesting though. 